Good morning, everyone. This is a tutorial on how to make an issue council report. Um, so a lot of people apparently don't know uh, what or where the issue council is and how to use it, and we're going to try and fix that. Basically, we have uh, on the Star Citizen website uh, the issue council. So it is issuecouncil.robertspaceindustries.com and you have two sections here you have the star citizen section and you have the issue council section um, so if you go to star citizen then these are all of the current bugs that have been recently opened uh, and it'll tell you uh, first of all it'll show you up here if you're logged in what your notifications are and then you can see okay these are the currently open issues. So I just made this one um, and it says you're the OP of the issue, nine reproductions required to confirm. You have options to contribute. So if you click here, it'll go through and show you someone else's bug. You can contribute. Um, let's see. That's kind of a really weird, uh, weird report. Um, let's see if I can find something that makes a little bit more sense. Loot table, no medium and heavy leg armor. Yeah, that's, a uh, that's actually a bug. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Not a bug, it's a change request for the spectrum. Yeah, I can agree with that. So basically you click contribute and you have the option. If you click yes, then it'll say um, your device. You click your game settings and it'll automatically fill those based on your last one. If you click a uh, version, then it'll give you um, the current version that you have to select. Um, and then you can add more info, go next. It'll ask you, is it playable? Is it uh, polish? Is it critical or is it game breaking? Um, I believe those are the options or there's something like that. So uh, you can say, okay, it's our, uh, we'll say it's the current version and then next, okay. Uh, polish, playable, hardly playable, or critical. So we're not going to say that that one is a valid issue. We're going to contribute. We're going to say, no, it's not a bug. This is a suggestion. And while I agree with you, it should be to the spectrum in the appropriate location. Um, and there is a lot of uh, issues like this where it is incorrectly categorized or it's uh, the, one of the other things we're going to go over is how it's not in the right section of the issue council. So if you click issue council here, you can click change. So the other option is issue council bugs and every single current bug that is uh, trending, almost confirmed, uh, expiring soon, all of these. Every single one of them is not about the Issue Council. It is about Star Citizen, and they posted it in the Issue Council. Um, and so this is just a common thing I appreciate, and I'm sure Star Citizen appreciates people who are coming to the Issue Council in order to uh, make reports for actual issues. But they're making posts about the issue counts or about star citizen in the issue council section and that just makes it so that this is filled with spam and the actual issues which are already very unlikely to get seen because it's such a niche part of the website um, are just being overwhelmed and, and hidden and covered up by the uh, inaccurate reports so uh what we're going to do right now is i'm going to show you um how to make a new issue report and uh then uh, hopefully you'll be able to take this information and uh, use it for um, making your own reports. And uh, I encourage every single Star Citizen player to 
make issue council reports it really helps to uh, expand the uh, the community and to uh, fix a lot of the stuff that we just encounter on a day-to-day -day basis that we find as little annoyances it takes a couple minutes but it can really uh, remove a little bit of the uh, impetus that would or rather the uh, the lack of impetus that other people have to uh, report a bug uh, if the bugs already there all they have to do is confirm it as opposed to going through the couple minutes of uh, making their own issue council report um, and so what we're going to do right now is we are going to report a new issue. So right here, the issue council has no quick way to repost unresolved issues. So it'll go through and give you possible duplicates. You can click, I checked these issues. You scroll down. Okay, these are my current device. This is the live issue of the issue council. Uh, it is a missing feature. It's functional, it can be worked around. So we say, okay, report a new issue. And every time you click here and type something, it'll drop another step. You have the option to add a bug. So, um, I mean, we can go, let's see, we'll hit report a new issue. And then we'll take a screenshot of this. And then we will go to paint. We'll say this is going to be our new issue council issue. We'll crop that. And Paint is just, it's a really easy program to use. Uh, there are other options, obviously, Photoshop, GIMP, whatever, but Paint comes on every Windows computer. Um, and so we're going to save as. I see bug two. Yeah, well, there. And then we're going to minimize that again. We're going to go back to our other issue, which is Chrome. So report a new issue and then we'll upload. Let me hide this for a sec, just because I don't know exactly what's going to come up. There we go. Open. So now it says uploading evidence. So now we can click on that. We can save it and then it will show us. Well, and not. OK, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, but that's the picture we just took. I'll wait for it to expire. So now we'll go to my reported issues. We'll say MFD displays are duplicates. Um, and then we'll take a screenshot with Windows Shift S. And we'll say that this is now our new reopen paint crop and we'll save this as I see bug three and then now we'll add this as evidence in our new issue and I'm gonna I don't think that it's wrong to use a little bit of humor here. It'll probably make it a little bit uh, more entertaining for the people who are going to end up reading it. And so right here, the issue still exists. Uh, I don't think we need a picture for that, but we have two different pictures and I guess we'll say Report a new issue. There we go. Windows Shift S. Duplicates. 
I see bug four. And I've already shown you paint. I don't need to keep switching back and forth every time. Okay, so back to our report new issue, select file. There, the issue still exists. Wait for it to upload, save. And then this one is Manually repost, occasionally copying and pasting. So now you go next. What happened after posting an issue on the issue council? Oftentimes it will expire in the archive without reaching. This doesn't mean that it's a that it's not a legit that bug, just that not enough people who experienced it had the motivation or you to report it and the existing issue one the issue itself there should be a simple way to post issues which have expired potentially carrying over the content Trying not to make this too tedious, but anyway, we have all of our screenshots. You can click here. You can see it's step one, step two, etc. You submit your issue, and now you see okay, this is all of the issues, or this is all of the issues. So you can see okay, one out of one. You can see it's functional, it's open seven days left and so it only gives you a week it'll tell you you're the op and then other people who don't contribute can upvote it um, but again as you saw there's only three active issues in the issue council bug that are current and none of them in the, rather none of the almost confirmed ones are even about the issue council so um Basically, what I'm trying to do here is get as many people as possible to start using the issue council, let people know that it exists, and uh, especially help people know to post in the right category. Um, because if you don't, then it's a lot less likely that the issue is going to be seen and confirmed. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, I do have more video ideas that I want to make about both Star Citizen, about the development process, about the community, um, and so I will be posting more in the future. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.